the 2011 BRICS summit begins today in Beijing. Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff has, has placed pressure on the Chinese government to buy more than just iron ore from her country. And Luciano Rostano is a chief strategist of CM Capital Markets. He's also a Bloomberg best forecaster of the Brazilian economy. And he says international trade and FX policies will top the agenda of this summit. Luciano joins us now from our newsroom in Sao Paulo. Luciana, thanks so much for joining us on this Monday. But help frame this, um, this relationship for us. Brazil and China, very important to both countries. But which country needs these talks to go their way more? Well, I think um, both countries are important for each other. Brazil uh, has the commodities that China needs, and uh, China is a big consumer market. So I think this summit is very important for both countries. In fact, China actually overtook the U.S. as Brazil's biggest trading partner. But Brazil is primarily exporting commodities and raw materials at this point, wants to shift its focus so that it can actually export more to China in terms of sort of manufactured goods. And here's an interesting bar chart that shows you just how quickly exports, um, these are China's exports to Brazil, actually. We also have a bar chart showing Brazil's exports to China. It's up right there. You can see how rapidly this relationship has grown going in most, both directions. But talk to me about the types of products Brazil would like to be exporting to China. Well, um, I think the, the, the companies that um, might benefit from this uh, summit would be more like um, um, commodity producers, and raw material producers, uh, steel makers, uh, food producers, because um, Brazil is trying to increase the manufactured products exports to China uh, in order to reach a, a better trade composition on a bilateral basis. Now, airplanes are also a big topic on the agenda. Do you expect to yeah. see an announcement from Embra Air following this meeting? Yes, um, we heard some about that. And what do you expect in terms of other companies that could benefit from this meeting? What companies are you watching closely? I think the steel producers, um, raw material producers, and food producers. I think that those are the, the main ones that are, are trying to reach agreement in this summit. Now, Luciana, we left this off talking about the real versus the yuan. Over the last two years, there's been an increase of about 41 percent versus the yuan. Where do you expect this to show up in the conversations between President Hu Jintao and uh, President Rousseff? Yes, uh, sure. Um, the Brazilian industry is suffering uh, from the Chinese import, from imports from China, and so the FX is a, a key. Uh, factor in this movement that we are seeing here and so we sure we're gonna see some comments on that from the Brazilian's president Juma Rousseff. And Luciana what is on China's agenda for Brazil? What would China like to see more of from Brazil? Well I think they, they want to invest in Brazil especially in some key sectors raw materials, for example, so I think that we'll bring that up. Um, and is Brazil preventing China from investing? I think there was some disappointment over the President Hu Jintao's earlier visit back in 2004 that uh, there might be more Chinese investment in steel makers and that didn't necessarily, um, didn't necessarily happen. Yeah, that, that, that might happen. But they, they're trying to, you know, to, to recover from that, that fact. And Luciano, this contingency that's going with President Rousseff, quite large, 309 business leaders, including Ike Batista, someone that we have spoken to um, pretty regularly here at Bloomberg TV. Are there any, any particular separate agendas that are going on here from these business leaders? Um, I think I heard about uh, the, the Embraer, that it's make some uh, uh, agreements there, signing some agreements. So I think some key sectors are, 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 are discussing with Chinese authorities in order to, to have more investments, in order to open the, the Chinese market for Brazilian investors. 
And then talk to me about where the U.S. figures into any of these conversations. Clearly, the U.S. is not really on the agenda, but it was once the biggest trading partner for Brazil, overtaken by China. Does the U.S. have a vested interest in any of this, and will it play a part at least behind the scenes? Uh, I think so, yes. Um, President Obama was visiting Brazil recently, and now they're trying to, to construct a, a better partnership with Brazil, China, and U.S., because um, these countries, they need each other. Each one has uh, its uh, potential and its uh, um, points that can bring to benefit everybody. And then, Luciano, let's just speak about Brazil more generally now. Inflation is a big concern on many investors' minds in the country. Do you think President Rousseff is doing a good job of containing that? Uh, so far, yes. Um, we, we had uh, like a $5 billion uh, spending cut um, from the Brazilian government. Now they, we perceive that they are now willing more to, to let the, the currency to appreciate, and, and that helps to, to curb inflation. So now we are moving to, to, to try to, to control inflation in order to, to avoid to, to have uh, inflation out of control in the next year. All right, Luciano, thank you so much for joining us with some insight into the thank discussion you. that will be happening at the BRICS Summit in China. That was Luciano Rostano, chief strategist of CM Capital Markets and a Bloomberg Best Forecaster of the Brazilian Economy.